as the general election gets closer, um, when will the youth of this country take their destinies into their hands? That's the question many of us are asking. How will we begin to change the orientation of our teaming youth away from what we used to... Um, what we used to be prior to this time, and the level of distraction based on social media has even made it worse. So joining us on the show right now to discuss this is a youthful politician and a governorship candidate in Lagos during the 2019 election. He's an architect, Abiodo Dabiri. What can we do to get more young people involved and interested in politics in Nigeria right now? Society is dynamic. Change is constant. But when and how the things now happen, uh, it's what one cannot really decide or determine. But I know that if uh, the government in itself realizes that we do need uh, to involve younger, more vibrant, dynamic people in governance, and they push it as a policy, then clearly uh, the days that the youth will be more involved with politics will be nearer than we think. Okay, the Nigerian youth in themselves have, make it, have taken the first, make, made the first move. Yeah, so they are becoming more aware of their environment. The world is moving very fast. Is there anything we can start doing now to encourage, aside from encouraging the youth to be a part of governance, to also change things in a way that it will be easier for the young people to, you know, fall in line? Is there any plan like that? Um, the technology to have digital elections, registration is with us now. You know, it's not, we're not, we don't need to be looking to the future. The technology is available to us now. The new things bring fear. Mm. People are used to what they can control, what they can determine. Mm. If you continue in analog, you can determine it. You can enter the process at any point you think you are not happy with what is going on. But when it's all digital and computerized, it is difficult. What would happen is that the will of the people would prevail. If you continue to, if you continue to make a, project, a process come first off, what would happen is that people are less likely to, to follow that involved. process. Mm. People are less likely to want to partake in it. There's a problem with the quality of um, young people that we have. So we have a large number of our young people, and it's paid us off you know, in this pandemic because we have a high level of survival because of that. I was speaking recently with a young child, who, young person of about 22, who was finding boring to watch the news. And I said to him, what do you think a refinery is? He said, I don't know, and I don't care. This is an educated young person. Mm. But a person had all the news on the video, Whiskey and Bonner Boy. I, would, I was afraid, you know? I'm not you know, downplaying entertainment, but I'm saying this is not the people... How are we teaching civic mm. education? You know, who would determine the future? And the excuse the was, I, his excuse was I was a science student. What are you doing in your capacity to, to give that proper civic education mm. to young people yeah. around you? Uh, you cannot take one problem away from the other. I mean, we have a fundamental problem with our educational system in Nigeria and the quality of uh, graduates and young people that we are, that we are, uh, that we are producing. So we are just reaping what we have sold. But having said that, there's also a large percentage of politically aware young Nigerians. And who, even if they are not in politics, they are serious-minded, they are focused, and they, are, they go for what they want. Mm. So it's not, it's, not a total, it's not a total loss. So what we are doing is that, I mean, first of all, in my, in my capacity, as set up today, I am involved campaign, which basically says that, look, you, we all have to be involved in this process. Mm. I mean, it, it's not totally a, a youth oriented thing, but we have a youth wing, and we also think everybody must be involved, not only the young people, mm. but the young people, the future of Nigeria, and indeed the future of Africa, depends on our youth.